Hello, I'm Ray Major with Trees from Seed. Today we're going to look at three ways of reforesting small areas with oak with acorns. Three very simple ways to achieve this that have very little labor and no cost whatsoever. Here's a garden cart full of oak leaves that a neighbor vacuumed up with a lawn sweeper and it was from under a big shingle oak and another large scarlet oak. And within these leaves are huge numbers of acorns that were also swept up. If we look under here, look around in here, we see there's a scarlet oak and a pin oak. This cart's filled with leaves. The easiest way to start a grove of oaks or to reforest a small area is to simply dump these leaves out on the ground. This is a slope in a garden that I no longer wish to keep as a garden. I want to convert it to shade trees or to a grove of oaks. I take the material and spread it out on the surface at about the same thickness that the leaf ball under the tree was or the leaf ball in the woods would be. I know there are acorns in this mixture. There are a sufficient number. And now we simply leave this alone until next, early next summer and watch for the seedlings to appear. And from that time, one simply lets the whole thing grow into a thicket of young trees or chooses the trees that one wants to keep for the long term. A second way is to take gathered acorns. Here are acorns gathered in a local park. These are the, the typical upland dry site species for southern Indiana. This one is shingle oak. This one is black oak. We have scarlet oak and red oak. These are the most typical of the oaks along with white oak in the woods in this part of the country. We can simply take this seed, scatter it generously on the ground, some of each. This looks like far too many. However, squirrels and rodents will eat some of these. You want to plant a lot of them. This guarantees success. The seed was free. Very easy to gather. It took me about 10 minutes to gather this gallon and a half of nuts. Then we can take, in this case, some wet straw and straw the area in a similar manner to how one would do if you were restrawing, reseeding a lawn. One could also use fallen leaves for this purpose, pine needles. This covers the seed, keeps the sun from drying the acorns out. They will stay moist until spring. And then late in the spring and early summer, we look for the little seedlings and care for them further. The third way is the method that squirrels and crows and jays use. Here's a spade, a simple trenching spade or garden spade, modified by attaching a tube to it. One simply drives the tip of the spade into the ground, pushes forward, drops acorns in. It can be one or more than one. 
they're just under the surface push them in with the heel again if we want to grow a grove of trees we plant a lot of them this can allow you to put in a few acorns in a few minutes for a small area or indeed one could plant them all day long remember in reforestation you have low germination and it's always acceptable to thin the stand out in the same way one would thin carrots in a garden so one would repeat this process over the whole area that one wants to reforest again if we want to we can put a light layer of straw to mimic the forest floor and that will help keep those seedlings cool and moist next summer when they begin to appear after that we care for them as we see fit we can leave it to be a wild grove or we can thin it to make a grove of a few large trees or indeed just a single tree there are three methods blue jay style if you will by placing the seed just under the surface or by sowing the seeds on the surface and mulching them or in this peculiar case back here I happen to have a good mixture of leaves and seed and simply spread them out on the ground which is the way uh, new trees arise in the forest thank you